Hi, welcome to Willowbrook Apiaries. Happy bees, healthy honey, happy homesteading. Today we are out in the garden, and as you can see behind me here, and we're going to be planting uh, some more of our successional uh, plants, hoping to get a little bit more lettuce in, uh, thinking about looking for trying to plan some ways that I could get a little extra food into this garden. Um, our main lettuce patch is starting to get a little thin and as the weather's getting hot I'm thinking it's going to bolt soon. Uh, same deal with our sweet peas. They're jamming right now but some of the plants are starting to turn that yellowish greenish brown and looking to replant some more of those. Um, and chamomile. Thank you, Doug and Stacy from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Gave me an awesome idea. Uh, they were talking, uh, Stacy was talking on one of her recent videos about the making of chamomile tea, but also how chamomile is an antibacterial, antifungal property plant. And as such, it can be planted as a companion plant with potatoes and tomatoes, both of which happen to be prone to different types of blight, which um, if I remember right from Luke and my gardener, that would be a fungal um, issue. So I'm gonna plant some chamomile in with some of my tomatoes and do a comparison, see how those tomato plants do compared to the tomato plants that do not have the chamomile under them. It also works out really well since um, some of my tomato plants have basil and parsley planted underneath them as a companion plant already. Uh, so there wouldn't really be, the chamomile would shade those plants out too much, I think. So let's get started. I've got my bin of seeds here in the garden and just got to go through and see what I still have that I could be planting. There's my sweet peas. They're all set. Um, I've got some extra bean packets for successional planting of green beans. Um, let's see, there's some lettuce and carrots. There's some Swiss chard. My son planted some of that. Radishes and beets. Spinach, more carrots, more parsley, more cosmos, lettuce, lettuce, cabbage, chamomile, there we go. And this is the German chamomile, which has the stronger medicinal properties. So, there we have some basil. We're not going to plant chamomile there. We do have crabgrass, always fighting with the crabgrass. It is always trying to grow. Even over on the edge of the mulch here, it's still trying and pushing. was actually a basil. Did I plant basil seed in here? Yes, I did. Hmm. So if I planted basil seed in here, let's plant chamomile too and we'll just see which one comes up, right? Maybe we'll just do like this near the plant. Yeah. Always good to remember what you've already done in the garden. Well, that chamomile seed is pretty small. I'm going to take a pinch of that. I'm going to come over here. Remembering that I probably have a basil there. We're gonna keep the chamomile all in one area to the right tomato cage. And 
that seed being so small. I'm going to see if I can just pinch some seed. Nope. into the territory here where yeah, see there's a basil into the territory here where we don't have the tomato cages this is box elder tree trying to grow my neighbor has one that drops its seeds into my yard and usually they land in the in the grass and try to grow and they just get mowed off and it's not a big deal Sometimes I fight them in the garden. All right, that time we got just a few seeds in there. That's perfect. Got a spider in here. That's good. That's what you want to see. You want to see that biodiversity in your garden. And spiders are great in the garden. They help eat all kinds of little pests that you don't want. Might eat your plants. The spider eats the pest instead. It's another benefit to this wood mulch. It supports all kinds of bug life. actually uncovered some tomato root there. That's not good. Not to worry, we'll cover that back up. And one last spot here. So we're just going to continue along in that same fashion, planting a few more green beans where they've been missed um, and planting some lettuce. I'm kind of looking around my garden wondering, gosh, where could I sneak in some lettuce? I do have a partial row at the end of my eggplant and my one pepper plant. Um, I might fill that in with some lettuce. and. Also wanted to just take a moment to recognize my father. I'm not sure if you're watching today, Dad, but I hope so. Maybe I'll shoot you a text message to watch this one. But just wanted to say thank you for the example that you gave as I grew up. The example of hard work and persistence, perseverance, and just pushing through and continuing when working through the hard times at your job and just really 
a sense of steadfast, hard work ethic. Thank you for the example that you gave me growing up and the man that you've helped me to become. I hope you have an awesome Father's Day and to all you fathers out here, thank you. We appreciate you watching our show. We appreciate the way you're raising your children to be godly young men and leaders in their family and in their community. Happy Father's Day to all of you fathers. Hope you guys have a great day and feel as blessed as I do. And with that, Willowbrook Apiary and Homestead, happy bees, healthy honey, God bless.